As real as it may look, this is not a real person. These are the most advanced and human-like robots in the world. These robots are called humanoid bionic robots, good elasticity and true touch. They are a masterpiece of silicone art, which is a combination of aesthetics and technology. Not just that. There are dozens of micro motors installed inside, which allow the robot to make complex expressions, showing motions and speech movement. So, is this the future of robotics? China. Yeah, 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 yeah. China about to have robo warriors, robots on the battlefield. Within two years, I submit to you, ladies and gentlemen, that these robots are already on the battlefield as we speak. And as you watch the Ukraine war unravel, you see drones all over the place and men running, ducking and hiding from drones. So I say to you that even though this is in the sun, uh, it's already being done and it's already happening. Terminator is here on this planet. Terminator had to be here before the AI got here and they need to combine the artificial intelligence and upgrade it to artificial general intelligence and from artificial general intelligence we get the terminator there's a storm coming yes sir there's a storm as we talk about this i'm gonna tell you how you deal with this for you personally now it's possible to make your own emp device a targeted emp device i'm not gonna explain it to you I'm going to tell you, as an electrical engineer, it's possible to make one. There's a lot of things you can make. But if I was you, in preparation for the robot Armageddon, I would make sure I understood enough to be able to make one of these at home. So you can send your stupid little robot dog over here if you want to. And when I get to point this thing at it zzz, zzz, and fry all, them, uh, fry all them circuits, your robot dog going to shut down. Your robot itself will shut down. You understand what I'm saying to you? So it's possible to deal with all of these things that are coming down the pipeline. But they're going to put robots up your bum hole. Look at this thing. If you watch my short videos, you saw the short video where Robot Dog was just walking around in the city of Atlanta. Just a yellow robot dog walking around in Atlanta. Up and down the street, people driving by in their cars, like, yo, that's a damn robot dog. It stops, it looks at them, backs up, looks at them, keeps on going. Now, that was under someone's control, of course, but it's amazing. And then when it gets to mount machine guns on the back of the bots, you know you got the problem on your hands. Combine that with the technology that sees through your doors and through your windows of your house, and mount that technology onto the robot dog, and you have the Terminator. Now, of course, they roll it out in the dog version because, oh, it's kind of cute. It's not that intimidating. Now, well, granted, this one right here with the machine gun, it's terrifying. I mean, that's spooky and terrifying. But could you imagine what would happen if they rolled out the robot dogs? Look at, look, look at Panda Bell. If they rolled out this with a gun on it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that right there gets your attention, huh? That compared to this thing, the little robot dog, hey panda, that compared to that is two completely different stories. But imagine they roll this out, walking up and down your street. And see, remember, China is the test case for everything because they got billions of people in China. Don't nobody miss nobody in China. As you guys already know, they were rounding them up, throwing them in the back of vans. They had a one child policy. You can do a lot of things under a communist government. And you can send a lot of money over to a communist government to experiment on with things, which we know that there's people in our government who've been accused of doing one who has a crackhead for a son. Yes, sir. So you can partner with them, develop technology, take technology from DARPA, send it over there. They get the tech from DARPA, send it that way, test it out on the people and bada bing, bada boom. It's on and popping. In fact, watch this. Because it's all out there. Robot dogs in China. Lockdown. Don't believe the Stankonian. 
but the stink on you know what he be talking about. Let's stop right here. This is where the Harvard degree that you guys get from the Stankonian ambassador kicks in. All right, we got a video of a robot dog with a megaphone taped to his back walking down the street. But we know the context of this video is during the lockdown. So then the question really becomes, who was outside to record this video? How did this video get on the internet? Because me and you, in America, we had the choice not to go up outside. We had the choice to go outside because we got certain freedoms. Now, they had to scare you into staying into the house. And a lot of y'all was like, I'm not going outside. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. They had that choice over there. You stay behind in there or Panda Bear going to send you to a gulag somewhere and chop off your fingers. So, this had to be recorded by the government itself. It had to be recorded by the government itself. You understand what I'm saying? Do you understand what I'm saying to you? And once you understand that, then you understand everything. It gets even more freaky. This is what else they develop in uh, China. Now, when you keep it in perspective, let me make sure this is on the screen. You can see it. But when you keep it all in perspective, I made a little list here of some of the projects that DARPA has played a key role in uh, over the last few decades. You've got the internet, GPS starting in 1959, uh, virtual reality, satellites, stealth aircraft, UAVs, unmanned aerial vehicles, night vision, precision guidance, smartphones, even Siri. I mean, the list goes on and on. It's, it's a tremendous heritage. And of course, the challenge for those of us who have the privilege of serving at DARPA today, our job is to make the investments now in 2014 that become those kinds of transformations for the next generation. DARPA created the internet. We know that there was a deal made where in order to grow the Chinese economy, technology was given to China so they can, they went over to China. Hey, China, look, we know you're struggling. Nothing going on over here. This is what we'll do, we'll cut you a deal. Uh, what we want to do is we want to create, we want to use your nation as a place where we can develop goods and services. And we'll give you the money to build factories. We'll share technology with you. Well, we can't share it with you because it will be treason. So what we'll do is we'll lay up here and we'll, uh, we'll allow you to steal it. Okay? We're going to leave back doors and you can steal it. And what I want you to do is you're going to go ahead and you're going to develop it. You're going to pretend like you came up with it, like you're smart when you're really not. But you're going to go ahead and you're going to develop it and then you're going to put it in... Uh, you're going to develop it on mass scale and you're going to make it real cheap because you have slave labor and you can put people in here and you can work them day and night because you're a Chinese government and they ain't got no choice. You communists. So they got to do what you say do or they're going to die, right? And see, what we'll do is we'll export those goods back to America. You understand what I'm saying? So you'll be the largest exporter in the world. We'll be the largest importer of the world of all our cheap goods from you. Now, if you understand that agreement was actually put in place, then you understand what they got, quite frankly, can't compare to what we got. You understand? What they got can't compare to what's here in America. So then it boils down to this. Why do they need these robots? Why do you need a robot? Why do you need a robot that can do this? But what's the point of needing a robot that can do that? That's terrifying. I can tell you why you need the robot. You need the robot because there are certain things that you can't get human beings to do. But that right there, technology. We're going to give you all these free gifts. And we're going to take care of you, baby. You got to be losing your mind. You got to be out of your freaking mind. To believe that. Now, here go the next thing that's kind of spooky. And I need you to understand this. When you look at the nature of the people who are in control, the perverted, 
immoral, sexually immoral nature of these individuals, then you know that they're going to be building things for pleasure. You understand what I'm saying? They're going to build things for their own pleasure. Was it Tom Horn that said this 10 years ago? Uh, it might have been Tom Horn who was talking about this 10 years ago, how they were going to make sex box. I'm pretty sure it was Tom Horn. Maybe it was still Steve Quayle. One of them, they've been blowing a whistle on this for years. Which, in turn, in my mind, means they have the most credibility there is. In fact, Tom Horn, Steve Quayle, Alex Jones, the most credibility there is. I mean, they've been blowing these whistles and blowing these horns for 10, 15, 20 years. So the issue really boils down to, are you aware of what the hell is going on out here in these streets and how it's going to affect you? How's it going to affect your job? Are you going to have a job? No, I submit to you, you won't. I submit to you that you will not have one. Remember that housekeeper that come around the house and clean up for you? You know what I'm saying? Like, you go to work, you have your housekeeper come in and do what they need to do. I'm going to have my housekeeper clean up for me and help me out. No, that's gone. That's going to be a robot. Now, it, and it's so pervasive, it goes down to the to the women who hustle on the street. Who got their best interests at heart? I, I'm serious. I know this is going to sound like I'm joking. But the street walkers, who got their best interests at heart? Because the pimping about to be 100% digital. Remember, pimping moved from the streets to the internet with OnlyFans. Right? Not pimping about to be digital. I mean, it's pimping is digital now. Pippin is about to be robotic. You understand what I'm saying? And I know it sounds funny, like DW crazy, but I'm just keeping it real with you. Pimpin is about to be robotic. Samantha is interactive. Basically, she likes to be touched. Uh, she has different modes of interaction. She has romantic, she has family, and she has also sexy modes. You can touch Samantha, uh, for example, in the hips. You can touch Samantha also in the arms. You can touch Samantha in the hands. Uh, you can kiss Samantha. She likes to be kissed. Uh, normally, she likes to be kissed always. And also, she responds to uh, basically the G-spots and also the breasts. Body. What's going to happen to them street walkers? That, and, and I say this because I don't think people think to the depths of how pervasive this will be in society. Now, I don't encourage street walking. I don't encourage pimping. I'm not a pimp, never been a pimp, full disclosure. I don't encourage nobody pimping nothing. You understand? Don't be out here pimping people. But what I'm saying to you is, these robots about to get pimped. And then we get into the part of robotic rights. Because these are company assets. So now you gotta give human rights to robots or some form of rights to robots. Like those people just walk up the street, bust them upside the head, pull out the circuitry, and sell a copper wire into the scrapyard. You think people climbing under cars and getting alternators right now? Imagine if these robots was walking down the street with no damn rights. Oh yeah, we kidnapping that bot, tearing them apart. Oh yeah, it's got copper in here, it's got gold in here, man, we scrapping that. You see what I'm saying? And those kind of things will happen. Those things will happen. And so we're moving into a world that's wild. And I'm trying to prepare you for it, baby. That's all I'm trying to do. Now, we got a problem on our hands. I need the like button to be hit. I need a thousand, two thousand likes per video in order for YouTube to keep me in the algorithm, man. They keep suppressing me because people are being selfish. I ain't understand that. You know, you watch the content, you get 20,000 views and get a thousand people like it. That is selfish. And see, it's that same selfish nature. I'm going to keep it real with you. See, that same self-centered, selfish behavior is why robots going to be running up your bum hole. It's all about me. I saw the video. I didn't like it. Oh, I didn't like the intro to the video. Bye. Oh, I don't like the color shirt he's wearing. Bye. Oh, I watched the whole video, but I'm too lazy to click the like button. Bye. That's why they can destroy you. Man, DW, you tripping. No, 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 no. It's that simple. Because it's not being mindful. 
is that lack of mindfulness that allow these people to do these things. It's not on the forefront of your mind. Oh, man, I love Dog Waters content. Did you hit the like button? Oh, hell, I didn't do it. You ain't mindful of nothing. But I, I'm going to remind you of something. You need to start being mindful before they take your mind. They're already in the process of taking your mind. Right now, we're going through a war for the minds of the people of the world. Pretty soon, they're going to take your mind. You better use it while you can. We've been studying the brainwave technology, how they can alter people's mind. They're already brainwashing half the people in the damn world. You saw the biggest mass psyop over the past five years. Hit the damn like button. Stop acting like you're crazy. Shit. I'm out of here, man.